Welcome everyone. The first step to access USB accessories on your iPhone is you will need to get an adapter which allows the accessory to connect. So in this case, my charging port on the iPhone is lightning. So I have a lightning to USB type A adapter. I got this off of Amazon. It was a generic brand. So if you want to get one, just find it on Amazon. Uh, it doesn't have to be from Apple. And so you need to look at your USB accessory. Mine is USB type A. And so that's why I have the USB type A here. And so we can connect the flash drive into the port of the adapter. And then we connect the lightning cable into the iPhone. If you have a USB-C iPhone, of course, you want to get a USB-C adapter. And now you're going to search for and open up the files app. And then you're going to tap on the browse button until you see this view right here. And you should see your USB accessory and then you can tap on it. So this is a flash drive and I can see all my files right here. If you don't have a flash drive or external storage device, then you will need to open the app store and you will need to find a partner app for your accessory. So let's say your accessory is SanDisk. You'd search up for SanDisk and try and find a partner app which would allow you to use the app. So this SanDisk I expand, I believe it's a case and you need this partner app to you know, actually use the case. And so once you have the app, use the app instead of files. If you want to make sure the data on a flash drive doesn't get corrupted, after using the files app to you know, move and write to your flash drive, there is no unmount option. You can see right here in the files app. So this is annoying but you will have to press and hold power and volume down and then slide the power off and then give it five seconds. When you see a black screen right here, it's then safe to unplug your flash drive without worrying about corruption or data loss. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.